Senior Vice President of Worldwide Studios America for Sony Computer Entertainment. Um, we'll talk a little bit about Uncharted on the NGP. Just announced today the official title of the game will be Uncharted Golden Abyss and it's an all new Uncharted experience. It's not a port, it's a brand new experience that truly takes advantage of all the UI elements on the NGP. That's a great question. So, um, again, when, when I went out, I've evangelized this thing a lot with all of the third parties and the different developers and publishers. And Uncharted has always been a little bit ahead of the curve. We started development on that a while ago. And when I was able to show that to them, that always put a light bulb off above their head, right? They said, wow, you know, we understand touch panels, we understand tilting, but we weren't quite sure how that married with the dual analog sticks and the buttons until we showed them the little features like the way you can specifically interact with enemies on the touch screen, the way you can tilt to have Drake lean over and reach towards you know, a gap that he can jump over, um, the way that you use the back touch panel to zoom in with your scope. All these things felt very natural to everyone we, we showed them to and the developers really start to get excited and you can see the gears turning, right? Not to make a crazy symbol, but you can see the gears turning um, and see, so they can think about what they're going to do with their IP that they want to promote on the NGP. Yeah, th th another great question. So essentially um, what we just talked about today here as well was Resistance Retribution as a really good example. It's a fairly recent game, came out a couple of years ago and everyone wanted that dual analog stick experience on the PSP and I think the guys up in Ben did the best they can kind of mimicking that with the face buttons on the, on the right hand side but what, what the NGP will do is not only will it smooth out the graphics a bit with you know, the onboard technology, but it will also automatically remap the controls to fully take advantage of that second analog stick, and it really feels like a different game now. We didn't do a thing. That's really exciting to us because that whole library of games out there, Ghost of Sparta just came out. You know, There's lots of games that people can experience in addition to all the NGP exclusives that we're offering. Sure, so I'll, I'll talk about Mod Nation Racers first. So I think that, again, um, really kind of the perfect machine to take advantage of all the create capabilities that were built into that game. Um, when you think about how people can just now draw whatever track they want to with their fingers, it's such a quick experience, right? All of these features were completely rebuilt to take advantage of all the touch you know, functionality. Back touch to raise and lower the terrain, um, the whole new Omni Edit tool that we announced today that shows how you can easily create banks all using touch. Um, very, very intuitive set of tools. And it's going to make that game uh, really accessible for everybody. Other thing I want to mention, of course, is the fact that we took special care to build all the assets so they would be completely compatible with the PS3 version. So all of those two million creations that are out there in the PS3 Mod Nation world will be compatible with the NGP version of the game. That's a lot to fool around with on day one. Sure, so there's lots of different ways. So you'll see some games that will just you know, recognize if, if it has a, a Big Brother game on the PS3, there may be some recognition that that exists and you may get some special unlocks that way. Um, we're, we're debuting a Wipeout at this show as well, and that game actually offers true crossplay between the NGP and the PS3. So you can be playing a live online game, some people using the NGP, some people at home using the PS3. That's a really cool feature. Now, every different game studio publisher, they're going to take advantage of different features in those areas that I talked about, but it's capable of doing all of the above. First party, I mean, uh, I'm not sure I can give you an exact number, but you know we've got 25, 30-ish games in development, right? Because we're not talking about just launch window, we're talking about long term. And third parties were extremely excited about this device, so they're all, you know, kind of, you know, juggling their resources and figuring out what makes the most sense on which IP to bring to the NGP. So don't know the exact number of third party games, but lots of interest out there from third parties. You're asking, is there renewed interest, you know, based on the PSP as opposed to NGP? Um, and I think absolutely. I mean, it's it's a it's a huge step forward, right? It's a fantastic new machine. So. Like I said earlier and a couple times today, when you put that machine in the hands of developers and designers, you know, if they weren't convinced, the second they have that in their hands, they see that screen, they understand all the features, they are locked in. And they, the gears start turning, they're ready to go. Well, those totally different technologies, right? So the, the Xperia Play um, is, 
is a phone first, right? And, you know, it just has the ability to play some of the old classic games, you know, through PS1 emulation and things like that. The NGP, totally different device. It's made for gaming first. It's a, it's a machine built for gaming, right? And that's, that was a, a, a very important focus for us, is that, you know, we talked about all the different things that the machine could do, but we wanted to offer everything that gamers could possibly want in a gaming...